Hey guys, I'm Matt. I'm traveling around the world, cycling mostly. I am uh, on a bit of a break, the end of which is tomorrow. Uh, I've been off the road for about a month, uh, doing some family stuff here in Ningbo, China, which is sort of like my home base. And I'll be headed back to Ho Chi Minh, where I have a bunch of uh, bike parts, hopefully waiting for me. I have a meeting with uh, a Vietnamese magazine, uh, so I might be getting some press there, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, the tour will be continuing. Uh, this video is about what I'm bringing back that is sort of new. Things that uh, I, I kind of needed on the road, things that I might have replaced, and uh, these trips back to uh, Ningbo are an opportunity for me to uh, reevaluate a little bit and re-equip. So uh, I have done that uh, quite, quite well, I think. So let me go through everything that I am uh, replacing, upgrading, uh, and, and basically bringing back with me when I go back to uh, Ho Chi Minh to restart the tour again. Um, one thing that I did do uh, is um, I got a quad lock case for my iPhone X. Uh, if you guys remember, my uh, iPhone 8 7 Plus was stolen, which was my primary phone in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, I've been using this uh, as my primary phone and my drone phone and my Bluetooth phone. And one of the clips on the quad lock uh, lock actually broke off. I love the quad lock. It's an amazing uh, lock for, for attaching your phone to your bike. I love it, love it, love it. Love it so much, I've used it so much that the teeth broke. So I uh, went on Taobao, which is like the eBay here in China, bought a new one, and this is it. So we're going back with a nice, nice phone. Um, I, I brought, I get, I'm getting old, I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting hair in my ears and nose, and this is a lightweight and nose hair trimmer. I'm, I'm, I'm honest, guys. I'm telling you everything that I'm bringing. Uh, I'm pulling no punches. Um, I have uh, a, a refill on vitamins and things that I get from here. Let's, I'll show you the brand. I, I use Blackmores, uh, which, uh, let's see, focus. There we go, Blackmores, which is pretty good. These are like 1,000 milligram fish oil tablets, which are enormous. Each one is like uh, this big. And I gotta take like four of these, uh, they say like twice a day, which is crazy. So I'm replacing these ones with uh, my friend Johan, who is, uh, is actually watching over my bike in Ho Chi Minh. He represents, I wanna say reps, he kind of represents a brand of smaller capsules uh, with the same thousand milligram quantity of uh, fish oil, which I find are fantastic for my knees. Uh, this, these are a thousand milligram vitamin C's that I find just give me a little bit more pep uh, in my step. And then of course, the most important, I take two of these. These are 1000 milligram uh, glucosamine and chondroitin pills. I, I, my knees have felt pretty damn good. And uh, so I'm gonna continue taking those. Uh, it has been since I've been taking those that I feel pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna continue taking those along with the fish oil, which I feel like the combination of those things help to uh, fortify my knee and lubricate the joint and uh, so far so good. What else? Well, uh, you, for those of you that wonder how much data I take with me, I have a main server that my friend manages. If you guys have seen it, the Jio server, it's like 40 terabytes or something like that. Um, and so I offload all of my video every time I come home uh, with uh, my friend Lee. I also have uh, the original hard drives that I keep here. Um, and I, uh, I have a back, I probably have three copies of every video that is more than like six months old. Uh, the newer videos, the very new videos I only have basically on hard drives that I carry with me. And it's only when I can come back that I can copy them and then kind of like uh, replicate them and put them in different places. Uh, on the road, I uh, carry two um, four terabyte hard drives. Uh, the older one, which is full and has like fairly recent footage from probably the last six months or a year. And then the new one, which is which has like three open terabytes on it. The reason I carry some of my old stuff is that sometimes I wanna pull some old footage from not far 
far uh, in the past and, and to have it available to me is kind of nice. And of course I have the cable for that. So I bought a new, this white one is new because I uh, actually uh, ran out of hard drives, uh, travel hard drives. I don't ever erase anything. I carry everything with me because you never know what you're gonna produce down the road and, and what you might wanna call back to. And uh, I am a pack rat when it comes to data and I do not like to uh, delete the data. Um, another thing that I'm, I'm bringing with me is I bought these uh, uh, packs. They're like uh, very lightweight zipper packs and I actually have a few of them. I'm gonna take them all with me. This one is a bit bigger. This one will be for clothes. I have these bags that I put inside my duffel bags that hold my clothes and things like this. They don't have a screen on them. So oftentimes I'm putting my pants in the blue one and my underwear in another one and then the bags, I can't see into them. So I'm constantly pulling, is this my underwear? And then, oh no, but was this my shirts? And I end up unloading my duffel bags because I can't quite see into my bags. My duffel bags, my main pain in your duffel bags are water proof. I mean, they're Ortley waterproofs. There's no real need to have non-porous inner bags. So I might as well have windows. So I, I'm, I'm going to take these and see how they do. Right now, they're holding my, um, my stuff that I'm taking back with me to, uh, to the road. So let, let me go through this and I'll show you what I'm doing. The, uh, the Jayo hat, you know, the Jayo fishing hat, it has kind of met its uh, end. Uh, it, it, the, the holes on the side, the buttonholes that like allow you to snap up the sides of the hat are, are, are completely worn through. I have this hat, which is, uh, let's see here, Oxy Lane. Anyways, it's basically the same hat, but the brim is a little larger and it doesn't have the logo on it. I'm having a tan hat, a black hat, and a green hat embroidered with the Jaya logo on the front and the uh, JY on the back. Those are being made at a factory, just one-offs, so that I can have some some of them on the road. Those are uh, those are being made. It'll be done in a week or so. Uh, on top of that, I have this like running hat. It was one. There was a couple of times I kind of wanted like just a brimmed hat, like a baseball style cap. I didn't necessarily want that big fishing cap. So this is an extremely light, light, light uh, running cap. So uh, I think I'll, I'm, I'm going to take that with me. Um, while I was here, I uh, wanted to uh, get my uh, banners updated. Every time I go to a new country, I make a banner for the language in that country. So we have, um, I think that this is, this is Thai. And I have two, one for, I, one for both sides of the, uh, the trite. And then this is, uh, this is, I don't know the name of the language. I forget the name, but this is can the language in Cambodia. It starts with a K, like Khmer or something like that. Anyways, this is that. I might not even use those uh, local language banners, especially in Thailand, because a lot of people understand English in Thailand. And you know what I find is that the people that might appreciate reading something in local language, they might not even be able to watch my videos. They like the idea of this guy traveling around the world and they like the idea that they can read the story in their personal language. But for me as a YouTuber, bringing them into YouTube and having them watch my videos, it's very rare that I, it happened in Vietnam a couple of times that people were like, hey, I saw you on the road, I read your banner, I'm, I've subscribed. But I'm sure that there's a lot of people that, that they, they, can read the banner in their local language, but they can't hear what I'm saying in the videos. And they probably just don't become subscribers. So instead, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have um, English written banners. And if you can read the banner, then you're gonna be a fan of the videos if you like travel, you know what I mean? So it might actually filter out people that wouldn't necessarily enjoy watching the videos because they couldn't understand it. If they can read the story that I have printed in my language, English, on the side of the trike, then they're gonna be more apt to becoming a, uh, a person that might enjoy the videos and be able to understand them. That's my logic. We're gonna give it a try on the road. So I've done that. Um, one thing that I am bringing is I have another uh, bottle cage, 
uh, with the hardware and everything. I'm gonna mount this somewhere on the trike. I've got a oppor few different opportunities to mount this in different places on the trike. And uh, it's gonna be hot. And I'd like to have uh, maybe an extra spot on the trike where I can, uh, where I can put a drink. The panniers, the Ortley panniers have like a slot, but it's really awkward to get to. And then I have one that sits in the front near my front uh, chain ring. And I think I might be able to put another one somewhere. So I'm kind of excited about that. The rear uh, flag that I have, the small one, there's a big one that uh, T-Cycle made for me. This is a smaller one. Um, my flags whip around a lot and uh, they fray a lot and uh, and I just asked Pat to make me and send me a uh, one from T-Cycle. Go to T-Cycle if, if you want some cool flags. These are really, really good quality flags. They don't fade. Uh, the only reason I'm replacing this one is because it rubs on a, uh, on a handle of a bag and uh, years of rubbing have worn through it. So I'm going to get a new flag. It'll be nice and bright and clean and clear and cool. <laughs> uh, another thing that I'm taking with me is this is a solar powered, um, uh, solar powered lamp that is made for going in your tent. Not necessarily a new thing, but something that I haven't had on the tour recently. I think I had these when I was in uh, Taiwan, but uh, for some reason I, I think I brought a few of them back home and I was taking an extended break and I never brought them back to the tour. So I saw them in my storage unit area and I was like, hey, I like those, I remember. T-Cycle made me a bunch of stickers uh, and decals. T-Cycle makes amazing reflective 3M style decals. Actually, yeah, 3M style. And so he cut them in the shape of uh, some of my Jayo logos. And I've got some uh, Add Fuel to Life stickers. Um, if you guys think that these stickers are cool, I might ask, uh, we were, we've been talking, me and Pat, the owner of T-Cycle, have been talking about it and maybe actually doing a uh, series of sticker sets for bikes. I sell stickers on the Redbubble store, but these stickers are actual reflective decals that when you put them on your bike, they are really, really good quality, like super, super good quality. So uh, I might talk to them about that. Now, uh, another thing that I'm taking with me, this is a bracket for a headrest that uh, will go right right there. It will mount on, it's designed to mount on the back of the, uh, the trike that I have, the seat of the trike that I have, the Scorpion, uh, Scorpion uh, Ergo Mesh seat. You can see here that it will uh, mount right behind my head. It has a whole bunch of uh, articulating locks so that you can position it any way that's the most comfortable. So I'm really excited about um, putting this headrest to work and um, so we're going to be doing that. That is going to be neat. Um, one of the things that I'm a little bit worried about is that my headrest also when I flip over my trike I use the headrest as one of the three points of contact when I flip the trike over and I store it or I work on the under undercarriage for brakes or, or, or uh, the drivetrain or whatever and it might scuff here so I'm going to have to be a little bit more uh, careful with regards to making sure that that does not get scuffed up because I don't want to ruin that headrest. It's a very nice headrest. I'm going to probably toss the headrest that I currently have from HP Velotechnic and uh, I think that I'll be living with this one for the foreseeable future. Um, I was at, if you watched yesterday's vlog, uh, it was kind of interesting. I went to uh, my friend Leo and he had a, a coffee, uh, a, a fast coffee packets. Basically they're like drip style coffee and here, let me see if you can see that. You see how it just kind of, it's a packet that sits over your cup and then it drips into your cup so you get a drip style coffee. I had a few and I was like, holy shit, this is really, really good coffee. And uh, he's like, take a few packets. So I have a bunch of those packets. Um, <clears throat> I have four blades for the uh, Mavic Air, uh, my drone that I have. Um, I had one side blades, but there's two different blades. Some blades are designed to spin this way and other blades are designed to spin this way. And 
by the counter rotation is how that drone stays so stable. So uh, I, I knew that I needed some um, blades, so I came back and got some blades. Uh, I have this, which is a four charger uh, uh, power charger base <laughs> for the drone batteries. I carry five drone batteries and I left this home a long time ago or I left it in a hotel somewhere and it just disappeared. So I bought another one on Taobao and this will be great for me to uh, charge all my batteries instead of, because you know, when you charge a battery, you gotta hang out and wait for the next one so that you can swap them. And oftentimes what I like to do is plug all the batteries in before I go to bed and then I wake up and all four are finished. As opposed to what I had been doing last few months, which is like plug a battery in, set my alarm for an hour, go to sleep, the alarm, and then groggily I just swap one battery at a time and it got really frustrating. So this will be a much easier way to do that. Um, and my battery charger for my camera. My uprights, um, they're called stand-up assists. They're the two bars that sit in front of my trike. They're basically here and here. I mount my um, Garmin to one, Garmin's over here, phone's over here, and basically they're like my cockpit. I got a bottle holder over here uh, for, for drinks and whatnot. Oh, actually the bottle holder is just for a Bluetooth speaker. Um, but uh, the ends of those are like these these little bars and those have cracked and so I'm, I'm gonna replace those with these guys. These are from HP Velotechnic. Uh, they're a little bit different than the ones I have existing and I'll show you when I do replace those. So I have those. I have a tire that I'm gonna replace, the tire that I kind of uh, dilly-dallied with when I was in, um, where was I? I was in uh, um, Vietnam. Uh, where was I? I was having trouble with my, it was right after the police guys forced me to stay in their city and my tire kept deflating, deflating, deflating. It, was, it wasn't until I got to the, the bike shop the next day that I found out that it was actually the stem problem and it wasn't a, a hole in the wheel problem. But I had already tossed the previous tire because I thought it had a puncture in it, but I could never find the puncture. Anyways, I'm gonna get a new one of those. I'm gonna take a, a, one of my, my replacement tires. These are, these are the tires that I take with me. They are fantastic. Schwab. Schwab makes good, good, good products, except for that stem issue. <laughs> but I think that was sort of my fault. It was an easy fix. I should've, I sh now I know. Now I know. Knowing is half the battle. Okay, a couple of little things. Um, oh. Now, you guys know that I, my phone was stolen at Ha Long Bay. That was an iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, Annie had been giving a Huawei uh, Android phone a try. She didn't like it. So um, I'm gonna incorporate this phone into my tour. This is an Android phone. And I've never used, I haven't used Android in a very long time. I think I had a Palm Pilot, <laughs> like a little, Palm? Yeah, something like that, a long time ago. So, uh, but a phone is a phone is a phone and all of this, all this phone needs to do is it needs to um, uh, put music to my Bluetooth player and it has to provide me with a platform to fly the drone. Uh, that's the only purpose for this phone and so that will be fine. We'll use this phone and that will be great. One of the things that I needed though is an adapter for my drone to, uh, have the uh, little plug adapter so that it can fit in my drone controller. So this will be my drone and my Bluetooth phone. It's lightweight, it's actually lighter than the iPhone uh, 7 Plus and the camera on it is pretty good. I might actually use it more, uh, more extensively than I even am thinking right now. So I have that. I also brought with me um, some of these. These are uh, electrical um, uh, connectors that lock into each other and uh, I have uh, my rear tail light it keeps fraying I need to go to a, a little electrical place and have them solder these on like permanently or something I, I don't think solder would work with these but I need to permanently uh, attach some connectors because the old connectors have, have corroded off so I have those little things right you you got to remember even the little things because you never know uh, when these sorts of things are going to come in handy. When I go back to, um, when I go back to, uh, it's magnetic. 
That's weird. When I go back to uh, Ho Chi Minh, I'm going to be met uh, with a new drivetrain. Uh, the old drivetrain, it, it's a long story. So I'm going to wait to tell you that story later when I do replace it. But these are some specialized tools that are designed specifically to change the Schlumpf drive. There's this this uh, um, ratchet and then there's this little device that allows you to pull the uh, crank arm off and then there's this little device uh, that is designed to tighten the uh, crank set together and also remove a small component uh, at the end of that. Uh, I also have some some chain links because um, the new uh, drive, I'm going to go from a 32 tooth front ring to a 60 tooth front ring for a whole bunch of amazing reasons and so I'm going to need some extra chain. This might not even be enough chain. So, uh, But we'll get all of that done at the bike shop when uh, when we go to the bike shop. Um, the Osmo Pocket that I have been using for uh, recording um, certain things on the road like my, my uh, uh, downhill especially. Um, the worst thing about that Osmo is the audio. The audio is, is really shit on it. And so um, I bought one of these. This is a DJI uh, eight millimeter uh, headphone jack or three and a 3.5 millimeter adapter for a headphone jack. So uh, I'll be able to wear a lav mic and then plug directly into the Osmo, which uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it'll be just too much of my voice. Maybe you won't be able to get the ambiance, um, but I'm very curious to try this out. I even have a boom mic that I might bring, but it's it's an awfully big thing to carry just for potentially using it sporadically when I want to use that Osmo. But I have the capability to plug in a microphone and that is pretty cool. What else do I got here? more bags because I'm thinking about replacing all of my duffel bags with with these bags. I do have some of these binder clips, little tiny binder clips that uh, I'm going to take with me just in case. I think uh, they might come in handy, uh, especially clipping onto the um, flag poles because I think that those uh, can help help bind my flags to my flag poles, which is really cool. That's it. I think that's it. We've got all the clothes that I brought back. I've got uh, sun lotion and uh, batteries and batteries and things and GoPros and all the stuff that I brought back with me when I came back to for, for this break. There's some really cool things here I'm interested in, in having uh, give a try. I'm really excited about changing my front um, drive setup and uh, so Super, super cool. When I get back to Ho Chi Minh, I'll be back in the swing of things. I'll be doing live streams. Oh, you know, this box has some things in it. Uh, oh yeah, just toothpaste. Annie found some of these small containers of toothpaste. Uh, so I'll be taking some of those toothpastes with me as well. Uh, anyways, yeah. So uh, I'm really excited about getting back, doing the live streams, getting back into the swing of things. Uh, we'll be staying in Ho Chi Minh for a few days while I, I still have to wait for a couple of things to come from HP Velotechnic, hopefully. And then we'll hit the road headed into Cambodia, through Cambodia into Thailand, and from Thailand headed south towards Malaysia and Singapore. I'm not sure, sure if I'm going to get into Malaysia and Singapore before I have to do another pause. Uh, we'll get into it more, but I'm going back to America for July all of July basically. Uh, we're taking Eva and Annie and all of Annie's family. They want to see USA uh, and uh, so I'm going to be their guide while they go back to Washington DC, Detroit, Boston. There's going to be a bunch of places we're going to go so it should be fun. And then I'm going to also stay in America for an extra 10 days by myself uh, while Annie goes back with Eva and I'll, I'll just kind of uh, live live at home for 10 days before I return home to Ningbo and then back on the tour. So there's a lot of things going on and I uh, wanted to show you this because this is kind of like, I don't know, uh, every time that I go back I, I retrofit, I try new things, I, I, I subtract things, I add things and in this case um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've filled in a lot of blanks that I wanted to fill in and um, I'm 
really, really excited about replacing this new gear system. I think this will be a game changer for me, at least until I decide on maybe going to electric way down the road. But for now, this is going to be very cool. It's going to it's going to increase my gear range by uh, leaps and bounds. So, anyways, cool stuff. I'll see you in uh, Ho Chi Minh, I guess, and uh, ciao.